a lot of people will, will remember uh, the day that Pearl Harbor was attacked or D-Day or, or other famous 9-11. I'm going to remember March 18th for the rest of my life. That was the day that the governor announced that we were all in the state of Minnesota, all districts were going to distance learning. There, there was frustration and I think there still is frustration. It's, it's things aren't, they're not perfect by any means. You know, we heard many, many stories of families parked outside of McDonald's doing their homework on their iPad because they had, you know, they, they couldn't get anywhere else to get Wi-Fi or connectivity. That was really our, our, our focus for a large chunk of this pandemic was how do we get kids fed and what do we do about mental health? And education is always in the background and it's, it's always important, but it really took a back seat for a lot of the pandemic. It was about basic needs of students, not about rigor and curriculum. The superintendent believes one of the biggest mistakes schools and the state made was assuming everyone had internet connectivity. Students especially struggled with this in many rural areas of northeastern Minnesota. How school staff came together to respond to students' needs as best they could next week on Almanac North.